we looked at the expected value for a binomial in earlier videos, and now we should revisit expected value, but for the hypergeometric distribution, which is kind of like a cousin to the binomial. So remember, with hypergeometric, you are drawing without replacement. Okay, so for our example, let's think about you have a drawer with seven socks, three of which are black, four of which are white. Um, you, without looking, shuffle up all your socks and pull out two socks. What is the expected number of black socks that you draw? So what we can do is let x be the number of black socks drawn from those two draws. Okay, so it's useful to start off by writing the PMF. So let's do that. So our PMF um, is the probability x equals k, and we have three black socks and four white socks. So if we are wondering what's the probability that we have drawn k black socks, then it's going to be three choose k times four, the number of white socks, choose two minus k. So this is um, the number of black socks in the drawer, choose the number of black socks that we're looking at k, and then the number of white socks, choose the number of white socks that we're thinking about drawing. And then down in the denominator, we have the total number of ways that we could choose two socks out of seven. So we have seven choose two. So this is going to be true for k equals zero, one, or two. So we could draw zero socks that are black, one sock that's black, or two socks that are black. All right, so we're interested in the expected number of black socks drawn. So let's write out our sum using the definition of expected value. So the expected value of x, we need to sum from k equals zero to two because k can take on, our random variable can take on value zero, one, and two. And then we have k times the PMF evaluated at k. So three choose k, four choose two minus k, and seven choose two. Working up here, let's go through. We only have three um, pieces in this sum, so we can go ahead and write that out. When k equals zero, then that means we have zero times something, so that's going to be zero. Now let's evaluate this for k equals one. We get one times three choose one times four choose one divided by seven choose two. And then when we evaluate this for k equals two, we have two times three choose two times four choose zero divided by seven choose two. All right, now instead of having three choose one, four choose one, etc., let's go ahead and um, cancel all those numbers out. So write it in terms of factorial and then crunch those numbers out. So all these numbers aren't too big, so it's not too hard to do. Uh, from the first term, we get one times three times four divided by 21. The second term gives us two times three times one divided by 21. So we get 18 out of 21, or 6 sevenths. All right, one cool thing to notice, 6 sevenths, well, that's equal to the number of socks that we've drawn times the number of black socks in our drawer divided by the total number of socks in our drawer. So we have, I'm not going to prove it in this video, but we have a shortcut formula for expected value of x when x is hypergeometric. We can just take this ratio here and multiply it by the number drawn. So let's think about this a little bit differently. If you had been drawing black socks out of here with replacement, it would be a binomial, right? And we know that the expected number of black socks in that case would have been n times t. Well, if we look at number of black total in the drawer divided by the total number of socks in the drawer, then that is the probability of drawing a black sock in the binomial distribution. So it's kind of cool. Whether we are drawing socks out of our drawer with replacement or without replacement, we're going to end up with the same expected value of x. 